हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोना परफॉर्म डी एस एस गो एन पी एस के एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑफ डिजिटल कम्युनिकेशन सब्जेक्ट डी एस एस को हर एन पी एस के मीन्स डायरेक्ट सिग्नल स्प्रेड स्पेक्ट्रम को हर एन स्पेस शिफ्ट स्कीम द मेन प्रिंसिपल ऑफ स्पेस स्पेक्ट्रम कम्युनिकेशन इज दैट द बैंडवेट ऑक्यूपेंसी इज मच हायर देन यूजल बिकॉज ऑफ दिस मच हायर बैंडवेट द पावर स्पेक्ट्रल डेंसिटी इज लोअर इन द चैनल द सिग्नल लुक्स लाइक अ नॉइज द स्प्रेडिंग इज डन बाई कंबाइनिंग द डेटा सिग्नल विद कोड सिग्नल विच इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ ट्रांसमिटेड डेटा मैसेज स्पेस स्पेक्ट्रम टेक्निक्स ओरिजिनेटेड इज इन आंसर टू द मिलिट्री कम्युनिकेशन दिस इज द ट्रांसमीटर ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ डी एस एस सिस्टम बाइनरी डेटा सिक्वेंस बी ऑफ के इज गिवन टू द पी एन आर जेड लेवल एन कोडर वी गेट बी बी ऑफ टी सिग्नल देन पी एन कोड जनरेटर सिग्नल इज ऑल्सो गिवन टू द मल्टीप्लायर देन वी गेट एम ऑफ टी सिग्नल फर्दर इट इज गिवन टू द बाइनरी पी एस के मॉडुलेटर विद द कैरियर एंड वी गेट द मॉडुलेटेड सिग्नल एक्स ऑफ टी एज वी सॉ इन द ब्लॉक डायग्राम दिस इज द पी एन सिक्वेंस जनरेटर दिस इज द पी एन आर जेड लेवल एन कोडर विच इज अ बिट पैटर्न Uh, this is our transmitter multiplier this is our uh, psk modulator with the carrier and here we will get the output of the modulated signal so to start with the connections first of all we will note down the tc uh, for that chip time Uh, for that we uh, we will connect the clock of the pn sequence to the uh, dso this is a clock signal with the chip frequency as 2 kilohertz so the time will be 1 uh, 1 by fc that is 1 upon 2k chip time uh, that will be 500 microseconds now further we will measure and see the pattern generated uh, the bit pattern there are two ports p1 and p2 pattern so let's consider p2 so this is a bit pattern uh, let's note it down okay so it's 1 so this is uh, the pattern generated 1 0 1 0 zero, zero. let's note it down now let's take pn sequence generator output and the pattern generator output on the dso simultaneously to measure the pn sequence so the uh, we have taken the pn sequence which is to the second second terminal this one and this is the pattern generated so uh, let's note note it down our pn sequence also so our pn sequence is 1111010100 so we will note it down on graph paper this is our pattern generated that is the bit pattern and this is our uh, bit time of bit pattern tb which is 3.5 milliseconds let's note it down so i have drawn here the input bit pattern and the pn sequence generator which is 1101101100 this is our tb which is 3.2 milliseconds and this is our tc which is 500 micro seconds chip time this, this is chip time this is bit time so now we will give the multiplier output to the input of the psk generator here we are here we will get the output of dss coherent psk signal so let's connect it
So this is the signal of DSS for let's stop it. So here there is a phase shift of 180 degree. Whenever there is a phase change in uh, the digital change in from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0, there will be a phase shift of 180 degree. Now we will see the multiplied signal with carrier and also with the output uh, three simultaneously on the DSO. So on the DSO it, lo uh, it looks like this. This is our multiplied signal, this, uh, this is our carrier and it's our output signal. So by adjusting it we could see that when there is a change from 0 to 1 in the multiplied signal we will see uh, there is a 180 degree phase shift in the output signal this is dsss bpsk signal in binary psk the transmitted signal is a sinusoidal of fixed amplitude it has one fixed phase when the data is at one level and when the data is at another level the phase is different by 180 degree. In our kit, we have derived a sinusoidal from a crystal clock using IC4017 and frequency divider and second order Butterworth, field, Butterworth filter and for phase, uh, phase shifted waveform, we have used OPAM inverter. Also, two different bit patterns are also derived from a basic clock. For transmitter section, we have used IC4052, which is an analog switch. A sinusoidal and a phase shifted sinusoidal are two inputs to the analog switch and the bit pattern is connected to control the input of 4052. Output of 4052 is a required BPSK output. Also, for synchronization, sub purpose a start signal power on mono is sent. This signal is overread with the bit pattern and then given to the transmitter. Now we will connect the output of the PSK generator to the input of the 1496 square circuit. Uh, we will see the output of this uh, with probe 1. Then it goes further to the BPA filter. We will see this on the DSO and the third one which is the frequency divider divides by, by 2 and we will get this on the third probe on the DSO. So let's see on the DSO. So the first one is our output of the square circuit which is like uh, just like as like this. The second one uh, which is a like a random signal is of Butterworth filter output. And the last one is a frequency divider output. So the three waveforms looks like this. Now further we will connect the output of frequency divider to the input of first of the PSK receiver. Then we will connect the PSK generator output to the input 2 of PSK receiver. Now we will see the uh, signal of PSK receiver output and also the LPF and the comparator output over here. So let's see on the DS. So this is the PSK receiver output and this is the LPF and comparator output. So it looks like uh, this is like some disturbed no noise, uh, noise content. And here the noise is removed by the LPF and we have a nice signal output. Now we will connect the output of the LPF and uh, LPF and comparator to the input of the re uh, receiver multiplier where there is written as re receiver output. Then we have to connect the PN sequence. Now we will see the receiver multiplier output and 
our bit pattern on the DSO and let's compare it. So here there is uh, our output of the receiver multiplier and this is our pattern, bit pattern. Uh, sometimes it happens that the, the output is inverted so uh, just switch off and on uh, again so get it uh, as same as the input signal. So I have drawn further the signals which are required that is the multiplied signal, carrier signal, DSSS, BPSK signal and the recovered signal which we have seen on the DSO respectively. In the multiplied signal, the when the, uh, when the bit pattern is 1, the signal is as it is. From, from here to here, the signal which is P and sequence is same. When the uh, input pattern is 0, then the P and sequence get, uh, the P, the PN sequence gets inverted and we get the multiplied sig uh, signal as the inverted one. Then we have the carrier, which is a si uh, sinusoidal one. We get the DSSS BPSS signal with a 180 degree phase shift when there is a multi uh, when there is a change and this is the recovered signal. Now we will see the processing gain. The processing gain is equals to TB by TC. We have measured the TB and TC as 3.2 milliseconds and 520 millisec uh, microseconds and hence we get it out uh, we get the processing gain as 7 the length of the pn sequence can be calculated by the formula as 2 raised to n minus 1 n is the number of bit of a pn sequence so 2 raised to 3 minus 1 that is 7 now we will see the spectrums uh, first one we will see the bit pattern now this is a bit pattern now we will go in the math function Panning. Now we will adjust it to get the proper loop. <laughs> now go to the cursor, type frequency, adjust the first cursor. Now we will see the PN sequence spectrum on the DSO. So we, uh, we will connect it. Now this is our PN sequence. Now we will go into math function for the spectrum. Okay, make it handy. Then adjust it so that we can get the uh, 0 process or 0 process. Go to cursor. Type frequency. Adjust the first one. First cursor. Zero, second one to the first zero process, and it comes out to be 1.95 kilohertz. Now we will make again the connections to see the spectrum of our output DSSS coherent PSK. Now let's see the spectrum on DSO. So this is our uh, output signal. Let's go in the math function. Panning and adjust it so that we get the proper load. Kilohertz. This is central one, and uh, the two 
side bands will be so we have adjusted cursor 1 to uh, 2.2 kilohertz and the cursor 2 to 18 kilohertz so the free uh, the bandwidth of this signal will be full of 4 kilohertz usually there is like a bandwidth is twice fb the bit rate but over here there is twice fc which is the chip uh, chip rate frequency thanks for watching